success rates in a donor egg cycle really are uh, entirely depend on the donor herself. And donors are in their 20s, by and large. So they're young women who have high quality eggs and healthy eggs. Uh, so the pregnancy rates sort of per embryo are perhaps 30 to 50 percent. Um, but since they're so good, the miscarriage rate is also low with those eggs. Um, so most women probably choose to put back two of those embryos at a time um, and have you know, pregnancy rates then that are above 50-50, uh, but lots of twins. So uh, one at a time or two at a time, that's really the choice. And there are a lot of uh, women and families who, who would like twins, especially f since they feel like they've been waiting for their family for so long. But really, it, it's better to have your kids one at a time. I mean, I think we're built for that. We're not really built for two at a time. And uh, even if you can you know, get through the pregnancy okay, that first year is difficult with twins at home. Uh, so we're looking to convince people that one at a time is really the right way to go. And uh, actually, within the past few months, um, uh, there's been some kind of new work that shows that you can really screen embryos for genetics and probably half of them even when they come from donor eggs have lethal problems they're just not normal enough to turn into a pregnancy uh, so if you can do that screening then it really makes sense to put them back one at a time uh, because they're twice as potent I mean they're, they're that much more likely to be normal so I think that's what's going to happen I think that uh, very soon you'll see that uh, many couples start screening the embryos they have available to set aside the ones that really have no chance and focus on the ones that have a chance. And if you're gonna do that, then one at a time is fine. Pregnancy rates are gonna be 60, 70% per embryo and just leave it at that.